Tom Arnold is the actor and comedian known for movies like True Lies and, of course, his former marriage to Roseanne Barr. Lately, he's become a very vocal critic of President Trump and even stars in a new series which takes on the president and his actions while a reality star. The new show is entitled The Hunt for the Trump Tapes. It airs on Viceland Tuesdays at 10.30 p.m. I spoke to him recently about the series and his beef with the president. Here is that interview. Watch. How would you describe, Tom, the current state of American politics? Well, politics, uh, horrible, uh, very, very divided. Uh, I think the country is in, is in trouble. I think we have a, a leader who's incompetent and, uh, and doesn't seem like anybody is uh, able to do anything. And nobody, certainly nobody in his party around him uh, has any uh, uh, guts. They're cowards. They do, they've, they've signed up for what he does. And uh, it's sad because he doesn't have any, you know, he's, he's not a man that's uh, ever been of service to his country or understands what this country is about. Do you think it's party over country? Oh my gosh. Okay. It's not just that, it's money over country. Well, he gives his own presidency an A+. Plus. What grade does Tom Arnold give it? Um, it's D, 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 and, and, and getting worse. Okay, your new Viceland series, The Hunt for Trump Tapes. Let's take a look. Watch. T tapes. Well, uh, this started out, uh, you know, I've known Donald Trump like you have for, for I've known him 30 years. 40. Uh, 40. 40. Oh my gosh! And uh, you know, I, 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 you know, he used to come on my sports show. He's come on all, all your shows. And I used to say I've been to the Playboy Mansion with Donald Trump, and I wasn't the creepy guy. But then I, then I thought about it. I, I realized I went to the Playboy Mansion with my buddy to visit his girlfriend when I knew he was married. So I was also a creepy guy. So you know, it's a peripheral relationship, and hung out a little bit. He always asked me to be on his show, the the Apprentice, the Celebrity Apprentice. He and Mark Burnett would call my house, and and the Apprentice, so just so you know. Is a show that's so bad I wouldn't go on it. So, and I do everything, Larry. And so, uh, but he, but he, you know, I do, I do a lot of the same people. My friends went with him to Russia in 2013. They they worked on uh, the Miss Universe contest. So I knew everything he did in so Russia. So what tapes are you looking for? Anyway, well that's what that's what a uh, a pee pee tape happened. Anyway, I have to cut up. Anyway, he runs for president. And this Access Hollywood tape comes out, as everybody heard, and it doesn't stop his presidency. And I know he's a he's a not he's not presidential material. And I mentioned that I've heard a compilation tape, which they make on a lot of different shows. You, uh, uh, where he says the N word, he calls Eric uh, his son uh, the R word. It's shot on this uh, set of The Apprentice. It's outtakes of The Apprentice. And I say, well, I've heard that. My friends shared that with me, and that becomes and people are like, we need to see him saying the N word. That will stop his presidency in his tracks, which I did not believe. So I asked my friends resend me that. And then, and that becomes the apprentice out They say, well, have you heard about the PP tape that was in Russia? Have you heard about the Bloody Elevator tape? So I start keeping files of all these different Trump tapes, and there's eight of them. And then eventually Viceland comes to me and says, Do you want to do a show about that? I say, Well, yeah, that would be that would be good. And that's what the show's about. But it's a show, it's a show about the quest for these tapes. I just want to show the the real guy, not the phony guy that we who is Mark Burnett have the tapes? Oh, absolutely. Mark Burnett was a, he produced The Apprentice for 15 right. years. He's a very good friend of Donald Trump. He talks to him three times a week to this day. MGM owns all this tape and it's a game show, so they legally cannot erase. Every time my friend, uh, Eric Van Wagen, who's the executive producer of the show, spoke to Donald Trump, they have to legally keep that footage because there was a game show scandal in the 50s yeah. when you were in your, 60s, I'm kidding, but you remember the game show scandal. Of and, and, and so they legally, the FCC requires them to keep that footage. They cannot erase it. So they got all that footage, MGM owns it. It's in a salt mine in Hutchinson, Kansas, for one place, that's where their vault is. MGM has all their movies and all their television stuff. And so when I went to, to Mark Renetta and said, I need this footage to show America, he, he said, well, Trump wants it and you want it. I'm not gonna give it to either because my son was the uh, ring bearer at his wedding. But also, Trump is going to be a good president. Well, it turns out he's a crazy person, and I've been trying to get Mark Burnett to show it, but Mark Burnett has, has, has gotten violent with me and eventually. 
Can he's, they be subpoenaed? Well, that's what they're going to do. Well, he will be now that he's uh, attacked me. And I, what I realize is Mark Manette is not only covering for Donald Trump, he's covering for himself because he's made hundreds of millions of dollars. Gary Barber, the last, you remember Gary Barber as the sure. CEO, Mark Burnett forced him out. Mark Burnett is in control of MGM now, the whole company. He's he's a, he's a he's an interesting dude. He made millions of dollars from the Trump inauguration. Mark Burnett has a big stake in this country. So when I keep pushing this, you know, eventually Mark Burnett got violent with me at this big Hollywood party. You know, he's threatened to sue everybody that says anything negative about Donald Trump. And this is a, this is a powerful guy. Mark Burnett's friends with the CEO of the company that owns my show. So this is this is what well, this is a rough road for me. You could be taken out. Well, but or, or I, I, but but he's he's protecting out of trouble. He's traveling with Mike Pence now. So Mark Burnett does this thing where I'm a Christian, I'm going to be do all this. But but he he Mark Burnett has the same uh, policies about immigration that Donald Trump does. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't go well in America, Mark Burnett's like, well, you know, I'm from the UK anyway. I'll just do another thing. All right. Why are you doing all this? Because I have a two and a half year old, Larry, and a, and a five and a half year old. I'm 59. And the best thing I can do for my kids, I mean, you know, a, a lot of people are happy with the tax breaks and the deregulation. But the, Trump is, is, doesn't know what he's doing. He's incompetent. And, and other people know that because he's ruining the environment. The people, they don't care about the environment. They don't care about, uh, the, all their policies are cruel. The immigration policy of taking mothers from their children is cruel. And they aren't doing anything for my children. They're going to ruin the environment. They're going to ruin everything there. He sucks up to these dictators. He doesn't understand what America is about. He's never read the Constitution or the Bible. He's a liar. He's a phony. He's a fraud. And he's got all these idiots in there with him. The, the education person, the people he's put in place. And my daughter and my son does are better. And he's got all these anti-Semitic people standing next to him. He had Steve Bannon in the White House, a full-blown anti-Semite. And that's not good enough for me. That's why I say to Ari Emanuel, you, were, you went to the White House when Steve Bannon was still there, and that's okay with you? And you don't say one word? And I absolutely called him out. So we have these powerful people in Hollywood. I have no power. They're coming down to me. These guys are all suing me. You know, and I in my show, everybody I've, I've got in their face, Michael Cohen, Roger Stone, uh, David Pecker, all these different people, uh, uh, Mark Burnett, have eventually flipped. Now, uh, that's but that's what we do, because these women that were sexually harassed by, by Donald Trump, and, and, and they come forward to me. You'll see them on the show. And these are individual women that don't have a much what? power. And I'm there for them, Larry. Do you think anything really touches him? How does he keep gliding through? Because he's always, he is who he's always been, and it's not about him. I'm not trying to get to him. He is he's the same guy he's always been. He's a coward. He can't even fight, fire Omarosa in the White House. He's like, uh, oh, she comes in. I, I got fired by uh, John Kelly. He goes, did you? What? You heard, heard that tape. It's the people around him. And what, what is going to happen is it's going to be so much. And right after the, the midterms, the, the, the uh, special counsel is going to file indictments against people in his family and close to him. And it, it's going to mount up. And I want to show one full day of him uh, on, the, on the set of The Apprentice so people go, oh, my God, look how incompetent he is. He'll say the N-word seven times. I got, you know, if you say that Donald Trump say the N-word seven times, it's going to be hard for him to go to NFL players. Hey, you can't kneel. I have the moral authority. It's going to be hard. He also makes his son, Don Jr., cry. He makes fun of his tie so much. You'll see the real, what this family is really about. He's not a real father to those kids. They show up on TV because they're on a retainer. It's BS, Larry. I just want to show the truth. And you put it out there, and his base, they don't get it because they're, they're racist. They're, that's why they support him. I'm from the Southeast Iowa. They're like, oh, my God, that rich guy, he's a racist. He's the king racist. We will, it started when he said Obama wasn't born here. You get that? Our first black president. If we had a Jewish president and somebody said he wasn't born here, I would kick their ass. Okay? That's a fact. And Obama, his family's from a small farming town in Kansas. His, his grandfather looked exactly like my grandfather. And I had, uh, didn't have a mother. And if you grow up in a weird town, in a small farming town, Obama was black. I didn't have a mother. And I always thought, I bet his grandfather had to defend him his whole life. And so the first time I saw Donald Trump on TV saying he wasn't born here, I thought, wait till his grandfather hears. And I thought, well, his grandpa's dead. So it is a visceral connection with me. And Obama's mother was dead. So there was nobody to defend Obama against Donald Trump and his wife. So it's bull, it's, it's crap. What did you think of the whole Kavanaugh thing? 
was ridiculous. A million things, but I know this. It bookended with Kavanaugh standing in the White House saying, Donald Trump is a genius and he done all this stuff and it's disgusting. He, he did suck up speeches. Li he lied in a speech at the beginning of it about Donald Trump being the most amazing president, the genius that did the most research. And he lied last night and it's humiliating for him, for America. He's a liar. I don't believe him. He's disgusting. He should not be a judge. He should not be allowed in a courtroom. They, the, the way that the, the women are treated, they, they, and I'll tell you what, it's, it's this country, they are rising up. You can't, it's so condescending. Um, it's ridiculous. It's horrible. And, and, and he's, he's, he's disgusting. At one time, were you friendly with him? With Donald Trump? Donald Trump has, has only been nice to me. He's always been nice, nice to me. To me. He'll always been nice to me. And that's the thing. That, that, but that's not good enough. He needs to be a good person. He's setting policy for the future of our country. And he, he, he you see him with Putin. He, he doesn't, he doesn't get it. And it, we're in danger. We, this country, he could say, he's about to, well, he wants to start a war with China. He's going to pretend China interfered with this next election. You know, right? And then, but it's really going to be Russia. Right now they're saying, you know, Mike Pence is out there. Well, we got problems with China. He's literally laid the groundwork. That's what he's going to do. Um, you know, thanks, Terry. Thanks.